it's the 1st of February and um, it's a Thursday and I thought let's just do some positive stuff shall we yeah so here in the veg plot that's where the rest of the carrots were and they've uh, they've been harvested and then down here I've been working this over and transplanting strawberry plants there we go so you have to move the strawberry patch every couple of years so I've uh, mocked this and dug it over not too deep just enough and picked out the pernicious weeds and we're moving the strawberry patch it's not quite finished yet there's an area over here that wants doing and there's the garlic in mounds that's growing on well that must be bet you that's 10 inches high but there's other areas of the veg plot that want working up yeah and uh, and what have you there's a place for the beans to go and the squashes so let's continue on I'm just trying to find positive things there's this area of basket willow here that's been harvested and let's have a look in the glass house do you remember this one what have we got here we've got some Corsican pine that are starting to grow on yeah it's slightly warmer in here quite nice and Corsican pine remember those pines that um, the seeds that I was showing well here we go they've been sown and this is some Monterey cypress that was grown last year yeah so that's growing on and overwintering of lettuces this is what we call winter lettuce there's some the older ones and I think they're so if you can see the outer leaves are going sort of a matte color which means I think they will be um, going to seed but this lot smaller ones and larger ones they've overwintered and they're growing on which is wonderful isn't it let's go and find some more positive things and the hawthorn yeah the buds are breaking yeah which is great yeah really is showing that things are the new season is starting okay when the haw hawthorn starts starts um, budding we know we're we're getting there and somewhere there should be some bulbs oh yeah there's a bit of a breeze here but can you see down there just there the snowdrops yeah it won't be very many days and the bull and the flowers will be out they're just in that sheltered spot there the snowdrops are doing all right yeah and the jasmine flowers are out isn't it wonderful hey just the days are stretching out very gently oh look here the bluebells are just there we go yeah will be a little while before they uh, they actually flower but they're starting to show but the deer like the bluebells not the flowers but they do like the the leaves and oh look here 
Let's see if we can get this in the camera. There we go. Focus. There we go. Hazel catkins. The flowers of the hazel tree. Yeah, they're coming out. Come on. And the buds are starting to break. That's great, isn't it? Does, the camera doesn't know where to focus. Yeah. It's great. The sun's starting to show some warmth. Yeah. Things are slowly starting to dry up. It's going to take a while though. Come on, focus. There's some more. That's better. Yeah. We've got another willow patch here. That's all been cut. And that was a pheasant. Yeah, scared a pheasant. So let's go and see in the woods what we've got there. This is the wood yard. That is next winter's firewood supply. Sat there. Another month or so and I will start processing that lot. That's a bit of a long job. It really is. But don't rush. Take your time. Yeah. Ah, here's the kiln shed. Got hold of a load of bricks recently. Yeah. A lot of people go, why do you want a load of second-hand bricks? Well, why not? They're very useful if I want to extend the uh, the wood-fired kiln, which I do because. I've learnt various things about firing a wood-fired kiln and um, you know it's a project there's no there's no rush but basically you can get up to about 800 degrees not too bad maybe 8 to 10 hours but if you want to get up to say 1080 then it might take another eight hours. So basically, it's it's an overnighter, and um, you need quite a lot of embers and fire, and the the chamber for this one. I saw a feeling it's not big enough for the amount of effort that you have to put into it, because you can't. Although Andy Ward does firing in what is effectively a bonfire yeah, or surface firing very quickly um, if you want to do glazing it's a different kettle of fish and you've got to be steadier about it there's the um, the gas converted kiln which is great for raw glazing anyway let's go and have a look in the woods shall we the sun is shining, yeah. Let's do positive news, okay. There's that big Wellantonia, two foot six in diameter, planted about 1990-ish or something like that. Took a couple of poplars down here. They were they weren't very happy. The crowns were dying off, and um, I mean it looks all right on the stump. So there's no rot in the stump, but they were they were showing a lot of. There's another one here, a lot of dead wood. Yeah, they weren't big spready crowns. So there's something that they didn't like. And if you look down there at this one, a load of holes there. So the beasties have been at them. And that root buttress there, there's a load of rot in that. And there. So uh, it may be 
I don't know. I don't think it's Phytophthora, but you can't tell. But this one will come down next winter. So let's have a look. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Snowdrops. They're just sort of on the edge of coming out. And down here a bit we've got some. 1st of February and the snowdrops are just, just about there. Yeah. What's not to like? And of course we've got daffodils here. Let's get rid of this stick out of the way. Yeah, we've got some daffodils. Yeah, brilliant, eh? Ah, down here we've got we've got uh, some daff uh, not daffodils. What are you talking about? Some snowdrops that are out. We've obviously got slightly different species here. We've got those, and we've got those, and we've got daffodils. Hey, eh? it's happening. Things are happening. We've got rid of. Looks like deer have been on that there. We've got rid of the horrible dark November, December, and January days. And the sun is out and it's great. Yeah, so this is, as I've said, this is positive news. Yeah, things, things to be cheerful. Part four. Was that in jury, was that? Reasons to be cheerful, yes. I remember that. There was a bloke with a mission. Yeah. I don't think he had an easy life, but... He gave no quarter. He knew where he was at. At least it seems that way. This is the long meadow. And we planted these trees 1998. No, 1988. Yeah. Gradually thinning them. You've seen some of these before, and look. That's a real big patch of daffodils. They're further on. Yeah. And you consider that this was cabbages up until 1986. There's another pheasant. They like it here. They won't get shot. But this is... This is a combination of things. Carbon capture. It's habitat change, so this is quite good habitat and a lot of dead wood which is very good for the smaller beasties and of course it's a resource for us. There was a big sycamore here and it was getting fairly big and there's that fine balance. It's using up more space than it was allowed to and um, and if it was any bigger you know leave it another 10 years and it'll be a right pain to get out or deal with so that's not all of it we've moved quite a lot of it already of course that will be firewood in about a couple of years time because sycamore does dry quite quickly and then it goes over. There's a bit of um, blackthorn. Nice firewood. 
very nice firewood. And another solar array. This one's been here a while. I got that axle from my mate Mick Burns. And then I built all this lot on it. Second hand steel, out the scrapyard. Yeah. What's not to like? Hey, you just got to put the effort in. And I can't remember now what these panels were. Canadian solar, 250 watts. That'll do. And some people will say, well, you could replace those with 400 watt panels. I could. But 400 watt panels are about 100 pounds each. And there are six there, but those little, those 250 watts are doing the business. Yeah, it's like, what's enough? Yeah, we've got some uh, black on here, or slow. And look, the leaves are coming out. I've got the breeze behind me, the breeze has just picked up. So what else has been happening? Well, I fixed, you'll have seen me fix the Podpoint electric vehicle charger. And I've learned a bit more about it since then. It's really just an, an AC interface. And you may have seen all the series of videos on this oak tree and the wound healing can't remember I think it was six years but look it's healing over even more now and this tree here which I'm thinking is two foot six in diameter yeah maybe two foot four that was planted in 1986 yeah and that's a beast of an oak huge that's brilliant, isn't it? We've got a noisy tractor in the background. So I've been working on the little 275 International and I've got another video coming up about that. But I've um, been doing various things. I've actually got round to removing the loader from it because the 684, yeah, the 68, International 684 is got a, has got a much better loader so I've removed the loader majority of it off this tractor or from this tractor that means I can uh, gain access to the engine a lot easier and I'm going to do some work on the pump in situ in the next few weeks yeah so that's more stuff and the batteries are charging well, charging really well now. So I've got a thousand amp hours of lead acid and a hundred amp hours of lithium phosphate. And I've sort of come to the conclusion that although historically I used to have 1500 watts of lead acid, which has gone down to a thousand thousand is too much I'm not going to get rid of some but um, or should we say unnecessary especially if you've got some lithium in in situation or in situ it's um and I've done a video about running lead acid and lithium in parallel let's just go and have a look at what new pots are happening So, there's the thousand and one lamp. I really like that. Remember me fixing that? And then we've got some white clay here that I'm drying off to create slip. And these are going to be Japanese style tea bowls like this one here 
Yeah, and I've been experimenting with these shallow bowl plate type things. Yeah, quite interesting. And then we've got some more bowls and what I call cowboy mugs, where they're um, they're wider than they are tall. Needs a little bit of work on that one. There's a little nick there. Yeah. And then I picked up some other clay recently. Only from, I don't know, a quarter of a mile down the road. And this is a different type of clay. And it throws really nicely. Very, very nicely. So we shall see how we get on with that. Some of these bowls, yeah, you just make them, yeah, and see what happens. Yeah, another tea bowl. There won't be a handles on those, so you know, slip the inside, glaze them maybe do some sort of bamboo type style decoration on there have to experiment with that yeah so there you go positive things hopefully you've enjoyed this let's have a discussion and comments about stuff yeah any ideas for a future future video give us a uh, give us a comment about that although I just do what happens I'm not uh, that's why this channel is so diverse because whatever's happening happens I don't go searching for stuff for videos anyway catch up with you soon cheers for now